In this video, we will study how explainable AI works for image classification tasks, and we will be using the VGG16 network for this task. This is the image we will use to understand why our model classifies it as a hen, or, in other words, which pixels the model relied on to make this classification. You can see that this heat map is what we aim to obtain because it represents the important features, or in other words, the crucial pixels or regions in the image used to classify it as a hen. We are going to use the gradient weighted class activation mapping algorithm for this task. This algorithm is designed for convolutional neural networks and utilizes gradients. This is the abstract level architecture of the VGG16 model trained on the ImageNet dataset. Starting with an RGB image of depth 3, you can see that the first block has a depth of 64, meaning it generates 64 feature maps. It uses two convolution layers. The second block has a depth of 128, but the size of each feature map decreases half of previous layer due to the max pooling layer at the end of previous layer. For our explainable AI task, we are going to use the last convolutional layer, where the depth reaches 512 and the size of each feature map is reduced to 14 by 14. This layer is crucial because it captures high-level features of the image, with a relatively smaller spatial size compared to the earlier layers, making it ideal for identifying the key regions responsible for the model's classification task. Now, if we feed the input image into this VGG16 network, we will get a total of 1,000 output values as logits, but remember, we are only going to pick the value of the correct class. For clarity, here we feed the input to the model to get the output logits. Then, we get the value of the correct class of the input image using its class index. You can also use argmax to obtain the class index. Remember, here backward propagation does not calculate the gradients of the weights. It calculates the gradients of the feature maps of the last convolutional layer because we want to identify the features that positively contributed to the classification of the image. So, this is the first feature map. It is just one of the 512 feature maps, each with a size of 14 by 14. These are the gradients of this feature map with respect to the correct output logit value. Here, blue represents positive values and red represents negative values. You can see the other feature maps and their gradients. Now, we are going to use these feature maps and their gradients for our algorithm. Each feature map collects different information for classifying the input image. Now, our goal is simple. Take the mean of the gradient and multiply it with the feature map to get the result. Now, we are going to take the mean of the gradients of each feature map. Considering the mean of gradient as the weight of each feature map, we multiply it with the feature map. For clarity, let's look at the code. We first take the mean of the gradients for all the feature maps. Consider each mean as a weight. This is also known as global average pooling. First initializing the feature map with zeros. We are going to add all the feature maps together to get one weighted feature map. But, remember here weight is average of gradient of each feature map. We apply activation to remove all the information that is not positively affecting the classification of the image. At the end, we are just normalizing the output feature. Now, remember, this final feature holds all the information that is important for the classification of the image. After this, we resize the feature to match the original image. It then looks something like this. Then, we generate the heat map of this image. Now, you can see the important features of the image. You can see face of hen was used by model to classify this image as hen. Now, if we merge those images into one, you can see the important features used by the VGG16 model to classify this image. This is a very simple algorithm to visualize what your neural network is learning.